Are you guys ready for our next chapter of The Jungle Book? We're here at the Caribou Public Library in Caribou, Maine. I'm Miss Erin, and thanks for joining us today for our chapter book story time. Um, we're reading from the Great Illustrated Classics version, and this is The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. So we're on chapter five, right? They just were able to escape from the monkeys. And chapter five starts with a, a warning for Mowgli. Here's a picture of Mowgli with a wolf. <clears throat> All right, while Mowgli was learning lessons from Baloo and Bagheera over the years, Mother Wolf added her own important one when he was 12. You must never trust Shere Khan. He'll always hunt you, and one day you'll have to kill him. But Mowgli was still young, and young boys forget things as they grow to be teens, things that young wolves never forget. When Mowgli wasn't busy with his lessons from Baloo and Bagheera, he spent his time with the other young wolves in the pack. In fact, while he seemed to be their leader, he still respected Akela as the leader of the entire Sioni wolf pack and would never go against the old wolf's orders. But among the jungle people, there was one beast who wanted to do just that. It was Shere Khan. The lame tiger had made friends with some of the younger wolves in the pack by letting them follow him for scraps whenever he made a kill. Akela would never have permitted this in his younger and stronger days when he still had control of the pack. Shere Khan would flatter the young wolves by slyly asking, how can you find hunters let yourselves be led by an old dying wolf and a man cub? Why, I hear that when you meet at the Council Rock, you don't even dare look into the man cub's eyes. Mm, here he is, Shere Khan, befriending those younger wolves. Now, Bagheera had eyes and ears everywhere, and he knew of the tiger's treachery. He tried many times to warn Mowgli, Shere Khan is your enemy. He'll try to kill you one day. But Mowgli didn't take these or any other warnings seriously. I have the pack, and I have you, Bagheera, and Baloo. Why should I be afraid? Besides, I still believe that Shere Khan is all loud talk. One day, as Mowgli and Bagheera were deep in the jungle, and the boy was lying with his head on the panther's beautiful black skin, Bagheera warned him once again about Shere Khan. This time, though, his words seemed to make an impression on the boy. Shere Khan doesn't dare kill you in the jungle because of all those who protect you. But remember that Akela is very old. The day will come soon when he can no longer kill a buck. That day will mark the end of his leadership and his life. Those wolves who accepted you into the pack are old too, and Shere Khan has convinced other children that a man cub has no place in the pack. But I'm no longer a cub, protested Mowgli. I'm almost a man. Why shouldn't I be able to run with my brothers in the jungle? I was born in the jungle. I have obeyed the laws of the jungle, and every wolf in the jungle is my brother. Bagheera stretched his sleek black body to its full length and gently said, Little brother, feel under my jaw. Mowgli felt under the panther's silky chin and came upon a bald spot. Here they are. <clears throat> no one in the jungle knows that I have that mark. It's the mark of a collar. You see, little brother, I was born among men in the cages of the king's palace and had never seen the jungle. After my mother died there, I broke the silly lock with one blow of my paw and escaped. Because I had learned the ways of men, I became more terrible and more feared in the jungle than Shere Khan. Everyone in the jungle fears Bagheera. Everyone except Mowgli, boasted the boy. You are certainly a man's cub, little brother, and just as I return to the jungle where I belong, so must you return to the world of men where you belong. I only hope that you aren't killed by the pack first. But why should anyone want to kill me? Look at me, ordered Bagheera, and Mowgli stared at him steadily. In moments, the big panther turned his head away. That is why, he said. Not even I can stare at you. And I was born among men, and I love you. The others hate you because they can't stare back at you because you are wise, because you're a man. I didn't know any of this, said Mowgli, frowning. I didn't know they hated me. I'm certain that when Akela misses his next kill and the pack turns against him, they'll turn against you too. They'll hold a council at the rock and then, 
But wait, I have an idea. Nagira leapt up oh, excitedly and said, go down into the valley to the men's huts. Take some of the red flower that they grow in little pots and bring it here. By red flower, Bagheera meant fire, but none of the jungle people knew fire by its actual name. They only knew that they lived in deadly fear of it. Bagheera went on eagerly. When the time comes, the red flower will be a stronger friend to you than either Baloo or I or your wolf family could be. Now go, little brother. Get the red flower quickly and keep it near you at all times. So the red flower means fire, right? <clears throat> I'll go immediately, Bagheera, but are you sure this is all Shere Khan's doing? I'm sure, little brother. Then I swear by the bull that brought my way into the pack that I will pay Shere Khan's back for this evil. And Mowgli headed off. My little brother is surely a man, whispered Bagheera, lying down again. Oh, Shere Khan, how you will live to regret that day ten years ago when you went hunting for that little frog we now call Mowgli. <laughs> And that is the end of chapter five. We'll see you next time. Bye.